Are you all right? Honey? What is it? I don't know. Maybe something I've eaten. I'll call the doctor. No, no. I'll be all right. Let me get inside. If you witnessed a heart attack, would you know what to do in the next vital minutes? Hello. Using plastic mannequins, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, as it's called, is soon to be on the syllabus of all Norwegian schools. And all children will be taught just as soon as they're physically strong enough to perform resuscitation. They've also learnt firsthand but it's not just adults who might suffer a heart attack. A classmate resuscitated 14-year-old Trondinger, who collapsed during vigorous athletics training. I run, and I fall in the ground, and walk over the hospital and tell her I had a heart attack. I saw Tron lying, and I learned resuscitation. I felt that we had an impulse and started heart compression. A life saved by quick actions learnt on a plastic mannequin. And those same training aids are also used by Norwegian helicopter ambulance crews. They're trying to knock seconds off the time taken to get a heart attack victim to hospital. Professional training and the massive school's teaching programme means the Norwegians are going to need a lot of plastic dummies. In a bizarre factory that used to make toy dolls, medical mannequins are now turned out in all shapes and sizes, even babies. It's an unnerving place to work. Somebody's watching me Now I'm nervous and I shouldn't be Somebody's got their eye on me Perhaps I should invite him up for tea the latest plastic person off the production line, Arrhythmia and the Fourth. Now, she is no dumb blonde. She's got a brain, and she's virtually alive. Her job is to take the place of someone who's had a heart attack, been resuscitated by a knowledgeable bystander, and then rushed into hospital. And this, of course, is where trained medical staff move in. And it's just as important that they get a chance to practice, too. Now, the problem they face is that it does take a very experienced eye to interpret abnormalities in the heartbeat. And what Anne's computer does is to simulate different rhythms so that medical staff get a chance to prepare for the real thing. Right, well, I'm going to stand in for a nursing casualty, and Dr Brunner here is going to give me a very basic lesson. First, we now see a normal uh, heart rhythm, a complete normal heart rhythm. Right, so she's in quite good shape, is she? She should be. <laughs> And when I press this button, right. a sequence of complications will turn up. Oh, yes, yeah. goodness. Now you see an increasing number of abnormal heartbeats. Now, how serious is this? Well, it is serious, and it becomes even more serious. Really? <laughs> now it ends up in what we call ventricular fibrillation. And mm -hmm. the heart is not pumping blood through her body at all. So the only treatment that can save her life now is electrical defibrillation. Okay. So please go on. Now, let's put them in position. A sort of quick burst, yes? Yes. Yeah. No success. This often happens. So then we always go up to, to 200 and try again. So just okay. defibrillate again. <laughs> now you have brought, brought her back to life again. Now she has a normal sinus rhythm and the heart is pumping blood to her body. I think she's lost her words. 